वेलकम बैक पीपल दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट टू थाउजेंड एंड फोर एग्जाम एंड इज अ टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन वन सिमिलर क्वेश्चन आई लिंक इट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड दिस वन टू इज मोर ऑफ अ जनरल एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चन ओके सो यू डोंट रिक्वायर एनी स्पेसिफिक नॉलेज फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट्स जस्ट अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम परसेंटेजेस The statement is: In an enhancement of a design of a CPU, the speed of a floating point unit has been increased by twenty percent, and the speed of fixed point unit has been increased by ten percent. What is the overall speed up achieved if the ratio of number of floating point operations to the number of fixed point operations is two ratio three, and the Floating point operations used to take twice the time taken by fixed point operations in the original design. Then you can see these four options. Okay, so they are asking about speed up. First thing you need to know what is speed up. What is the formula of speed up, brother? speed up is how many times the speed has increased what is the multiple so in pipelining we have already seen that speed up is time taken in non pipeline cpu by t pipeline similarly Uh, the formula can be time taken by old scheme by time taken by new scheme okay now you can see that old scheme will take more time so the numerator here is going to be a bigger number and new scheme is going to take less time obviously because we have made some improvements so this one is going to be smaller the denominator is going to be smaller okay that means the multiple is going to be greater than 1 so speed up is generally more than 1 or it can be time taken by earlier scheme by time taken divided by time taken by the improved scheme okay now here first of all let's calculate what was the time taken before any improvements were done you are given that fixed point took half of the time as compared to floating point now here i have assumed fixed point takes t units of time then obviously floating point is going to take 2t units of time these are the improvements just ignore them for now let's consider the older scheme that means without any improvements without any improvements you can see that floating point operations uh, is to fixed point operations is to ratio 3 you can assume the total number of operations to be 100 or 50 here in this case or rather 5 uh, if total operations are 5 then 2 out of 5 are going to be floating point 2 floating point plus 3 fixed point okay this is fixed point this is floating point now you can see fixed point takes t units of time let us assume t to be 1 this one takes 1 unit of time this one takes 2 unit of time okay now because fixed point operations are three in number the total time taken by fixed point operations is going to be three floating point operations they are two in number and each operation requires two time units that means the total time spent here will be seven okay that means t old is 7 okay 
this is 3 plus 4 which comes out to be 7. Now we need to calculate the improved scheme, the time taken by improved scheme. Okay. Now this speed is increased by 20%. The speed of this unit, floating point unit is increased by 20%. What is the effect of doing so on time taken? Most of you might get con uh, confused here. You will say if speed is increased by 20%, the time taken will be reduced by 20%. No, it's not the case. What will happen is, let me show you. Speed is number of operations by time. Or generally, it's distance upon time. Okay, whatever it is, you can notice speed, whatever it is, whatever is here either number of operations or distance whatever you can notice time is inversely proportional to speed okay you increase the speed time is going to decreased going to get decreased now speed is increased by 20 percent okay let's do one thing let's bring time to this side this comes out to be t is equal to number of operations by speed okay Now, speed is increased by 20%. Increased by 20% obviously means multiplying by 1.2. How? Say earlier the speed was s. You increased it by 20%. That means you added 20 by 100 s. Okay. This one is 1.2 s. Okay. That means increasing by 20% is equivalent to multiplying by 1.2. Earlier this value was say s. Now increasing by 20% means 1.2 s. Okay. Now you notice. Earlier this value was time. This much part it was time. You can see from this equation. Now we are dividing this time by 1.2. We are not decreasing time by 20%. Time is getting divided by this number 1.2. That means increasing speed by 20% means dividing time by a value of 1.2. Had it been decrease, what I'm saying is if increasing speed by 20% would have meant decreasing time by 20%, then this number would have been 0.8. That to a numerator. If we got such number, then you can easily say that increasing speed by 20% means decreasing time by 20%. But actually it's not the case. You're not getting 0.8 that to a numerator. Here you're getting 1.2 in denominator. So what they are actually saying is the improvement made is this. The time time taken now gets divided by a factor of 1.2. Let's do that. Earlier the time taken was two time units. Now it's being divided by 1.2. I'm doing it here. Two time units divided by 1.2. And number of floating point operations, we have already assumed to be two. Okay. So two floating point operations into this much time plus three fixed point operations into this much time. Just see what has happened. Earlier the time taken was one time unit here now we have increased the speed by 10 percent that means the time taken is reduced by 10 percent no time taken is divided by 1.1 similarly uh, like we did here it's exactly similar so you solve this i'll just solve it 
इट्स फोर डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट टू प्लस थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय वन पॉइंट वन मे बी सिक्स पॉइंट समथिंग so i solved this this one is 3.33 plus 2.73 i hope it's visible probably it is anyways so this value comes out to be 6.06 that means the time taken by new scheme to execute such a program where two instructions out of five are floating point and remaining 3 are fixed point the time taken by such a uh, processor is 6.06 time units earlier the time was 7 now you can calculate the speed up by dividing 7 by 6.06 which comes out to be 1.15511 let me see if it's present in the options Yeah, option A, one point one five five. We have got the exact answer. Okay. Okay. If you didn't understand this point, I recommend you to watch the same video in Hindi. I'm making most of the video, most of the videos in both of the languages. That is Hindi as well as English. I think it's well explained in the video in Hindi.